Hi guys, it's Nick, and welcome back to Forever Loud. So today, I, as the title says, I want to do my full, complete Louis Vuitton collection. Kind of like I was debating on whether I should do a bag, accessories, the, 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 with all the different brands I have. But just like my girl Jerusha Couture did, I'm going to just do it by section and by brand. Um, my collection, it isn't the biggest, it's not the smallest. But I'm pretty content with it. I mean, of course, there's always some more items I want to get. But for right now, I'm really content. I like it all. And I have all the staples that I really, really want and need. So, I'm going to start off with... Not a disclaimer, because why would you click on this video if you don't like this stuff? That doesn't make any sense. But I do have one item that isn't mentioned in this um collection and that would be my um six ring key holder in the dami being print the glazing was coming off around the side so i put it back or then put it back i sent it in to go be repaired and it should be back in a couple weeks but since i'm home away home from school and i'm about to go back i just wanted to get some videos rolling and start building up my channel so I'm going to start, uh, I'm not going to go in any particular order, necessarily, um, but it, I'll put it in the way that I remember it. So, the first piece I ever got were um, these shoes right here, which are the Salem Sneakers, the Monogram Macassar print, and these, oh my god, I mean they're kind of dirty because I haven't cleaned them in a while. But they are the comfiest shoes ever. They kind of have this little funky thing like right here that moves. But it's like a little shoehorn so your foot just glides right into it. And on the inside, oh yeah, you won't be able to see it. You can kind of see it. Louis Vuitton Paris. And then these were actually made in Italy. So this is my only piece that isn't made in France. Holla at your boy. But, um, I love these. These are my first piece. Um, I got, I bought them as a Christmas present to myself three or four years ago. It's been a while, but, um, they've, they've held up and I have put them fully through the ringer. So I'm very happy with them. And then here's this little friend. So that's the Salem sneaker and the monogram of KSR. Then when I bought those, I was... For years, I've been lusting after a key pouch. Like, that's all I've ever wanted. I mean, I thought, that's it. I want it. And every time I went in, when I first started collecting, it was when the key pouches were, like, hard to get. And there was waiting lists. And it was, like, the hottest thing ever. I mean, they still are. But it it's better now. Um, but So, the second piece I got was... Um, the Louis Vuitton key pouch in the dummy being print. Here, you can see that. Um, oh, shoot. Some of the stitching's popping out. Anyways, so I got this actually a few weeks later for my birthday. Um, it, this was my, actually my 16th birthday present to myself. Um, because I was like, so cool, I can put this on my keys, put my keys in there, I can use it as a wallet, like, it'll be wonderful. Um, so right now, I keep a whole bunch of keys in there since, um, my key, or my four key ring, or my six key ring holder, um, is in for repair. So I just have my house keys and everything for my house, and then I have stuff for my dorm. So, like, my dorm keys and everything else, so... This thing comes in very handy. I This thing's disgusting. Like, you can kind of see it there. Like, it's so worn. The dummy being print has, like, chipped off a little bit. Like, it's not it's not pretty. Um, the zipper pull is... that will focus. It's so chipped. It's kind of embarrassing. But it's my heart. It's my soul. And I just love it. So then... After that, um, I didn't take a break from it, but I was going to, I kept on looking for the next piece and I wasn't sure really what I wanted. And then I decided that I was going to go to France with my school. 
and so I was saving up my money to go to France and then to have spending money in order to buy something from Louis Vuitton. And the first time I went was into Europe. This was before this. I wanted the Brazza wallet so bad. But um, I was like in between 8th grade going on to um, freshman year. And I was going to use all my graduation money to buy the Brazza wallet. And um, when I went there, I was with a student organization program, so they didn't really let me go in there, and I was furious. But now, the second time I was able to go, I knew I'd have time and I'd be a little bit more free to be able to go and do things. So I saved up all my money, and I was going on a big haul. I was going to get this, that, and everything I could ever think of. But when I did, went there... I have a video of my unboxing, but, um, I did do some damage, but it's, it's all good. So, here is my first bag. This is the Polk backpack, the monogram of Kassar, and, um, this, once again, is my heart and soul. Every time I see this, I just think of all the hard work I put into, um, going on my trip. I remember my trip. And how hard I worked for something. I mean, I've always had to work for everything I've ever gotten. But this is just... Uh, I don't know. I want to be buried with it. Like, it just means the world to me. Hold on one minute. Alright, sorry about that. But, um, that was my Polk backpack. So, also on that trip, um... I finally got... I got a few more things. So then... Also, that was made in France... So then I also got, um, what is this? Oh, the Tannin Wallet. Also in the Monogram of Kassar. Here you can see that. The LVs are upside up on every part. It's just showing up backwards. Then it opens up like this. And this was also made in France. And I also had my initials stamped onto it. I also had that heat stamp too. But if you want a review on it, I can show you more about that. But, so, in this wallet, let me zip it up. You have a zipper that says, oops, can't see, that says Louis Vuitton. And all the, what I loved about this wallet is it had, like, the little bits of monogram canvas in there. I mean, I'm not a showy off person. I don't buy this stuff to be like, oh, look, it's Louis Vuitton. But, um... I liked it how it had that because everyone else can see this part. And when you're paying and doing stuff, you don't really see that. But then when you open it up, you have a little bit of eye candy too. So I believe you get to treat yourself. So that was my favorite part. Um, I ended up not getting the Brazza wallet. But mostly this one just to match my backpack perfectly. Um, it has um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Eight credit card slots, and then a slip right here that can hold a card. It has a zippered pocket right here for change, but I keep receipts and other mismatched stuff in there. Then behind that zipper pocket, you have a slip compartment. That's where I usually keep um, my bills. Um, and then on this other side, it's another slip pocket. And if I have any bigger bills, I'll usually put underneath there. And also at the same time, I got the um, monogram key pouch. This one has held up a lot better. And actually, in the time between getting this one and this one, this one's actually a little bit bigger. Um, so, just your regular monogram canvas. If you want a review on that, just let me know. Um, this was also made in France. Um... Yeah, and then the last thing I got on that trip, um, well, the last thing that I that they had that I wanted um, was once again the key pouch in the Dami Zur, or Zou, however you want to say it. Um, this was also made in France. And funny story on this one: a week after I got home, I was going to work, and um, in my pocket I had a pen, and I didn't know. That the pen had broken. So I put it in my pocket. And then when I went to go on my break. And I was going to go pay for something. I noticed. 
we can't really see it that much anymore. You can, it's, it was kind of over on this side. It was all over it, black pen, all over the side, and even on the back side right over here. I, I, well, I didn't cry it, but I was like so sick to my stomach. I was, I just didn't know what to do. Um, but thankfully, I came home, started scrubbing it off, and it came off pretty good just with some soap and water. But there was still some stuff on there, and I was like, that's it, I'm getting it done and over with. So then I grabbed some soft scrub, and which you're not supposed to do. This will. Uh, I thought it would take off some of the blue on it, but it didn't. Um, it might have damaged the canvas um, later on, but I don't know. It's perfect. So then, <clears throat> after that, it was pretty safe to say that I was broke. Um, and I was just doing other things and just buying other things. But then... Um, that was in March, and then in July, I went to New York with my family, and we um, did some shopping, and there was quite a few things that, once again, I wanted, but I wasn't really too sure what I wanted. Um, I picked up a few things, um, but the only thing I got from Louis Vuitton, the only thing, was a Zippy coin purse and the Damier Graffiti. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, there we are. And right there is where it says Louis Vuitton Paris. It comes with silver hardware. And I gotta say, I love the silver hardware. It, it, mine doesn't scratch. It doesn't tarnish. It doesn't chip. It's perfect. Um, I personally like gold a little bit more. I still have quite a bit of silver, even jewelry and stuff. But gold will always hit my heart. And you'll see why in a little bit. Um, but you just zip this open. And that's a bare basic um, setup. But mine was, if you can see that, Louis Vuitton Paris, once again, made in France. So I'm a made in France whore. So, yeah, I bought that. And then, this time, I was, like, on a ban. I wasn't sure what I wanted. Um, I kept on just wussing out. And I bought a few other things. But, then, um... Earlier, like, it was either July, like, late July or August of this year. Um, I don't think I did a video on anything. But I'm going to start off small. Um, I love the Dami bean. It's, um, it goes back and forth being my favorite. And then me hate it. I either despise it or it's my favorite and I just have an obsession. But I picked up a few things for just... Uh, late, late graduation present to myself and just to treat myself before college. Just, you never know what's going to happen. So, the first thing I got was the mini pochette and the Damier bean. It has the red interior and I just have a whole bunch of mismatched stuff in there like gum, those hand wipes, hair ties, just a whole bunch of random stuff. Um... The only thing I have to say about this is the canvas feels very, really flimsy compared to everything else. It's nice. I'm not complaining. It was just a little bit of a shock. Um, but this was also, if you can see that, um, made in France. So that was the first one I got. And then also on that trip, I got... Um, this was something I've been contemplating for a while, and I didn't know if I wanted the MM, the desk agenda, the GM agenda, but um, and then what print. Um, but I knew it would match something else I wanted to get later on. Um, but I just got... My sales associate actually talked me into it. Well, the size. Um, the GM agenda and the Damier bean. It, I actually still haven't used... I'm going to start using it now, but in that whole time, I haven't been able to use it because I wasn't able to find refills for it, or for the 2015 year, but, um, but now, now I will. This was also made in France, and it has a pocket right here for, like, cards, a little flat pocket here, another flat pocket, and also my inserts are from Filofax. If you get the A5 size, they fit perfectly. Then on the back, it has a loop for your pen. 
It's nothing fancy. It's just some random pen I found. Um, another little slip for a card, and then another pocket. I'm so excited to use this. It just looks so classy. It's nice. It's big. It's the perfect size. It will fit everything I need for school and life. Then, I got... the. This was another thing I was going to get in New York when I got the Zippy Coin purse. But I didn't know what size, and I thought I wanted a pair of Louboutins, and I just... I just ended up not getting either of my options. And I wasn't sure if I wanted, this will be the keep all, but I wasn't sure if I wanted the 55 or the 45. But I ended up getting the keep all, oh, you want, here, here we go. The keep all 55 in Dami Bean. I got the bandolier because there's no way in hell I would ever be able to hand carry this. It's, so far it's held up great. I love it, it's awesome. Um, there's a funny story about it, but if you want to see any videos about this, just let me know. I'm going to be one of those people. And then, um, the last piece I have to show with you, I actually got as just... So sorry. Um, I actually got... There we go. As a, um, just a me present to myself, um... In November, I was kind of going through a hard time, and I just, just something I always wanted, and I finally jumped on it, but, um, as it turned out, it was being discontinued, and my sales associates couldn't find me one anywhere, and so I had to look on the pre-loved market. So then, all of a sudden, Fashion File, like, the three days after, I was just so upset, they had a listing pop up, and I was like, that's it. Found it. It's my love. So... I have the I Care and the Damier Bean print. This, or the Keep All was also made in France, and this is also made in France. Um, this is, bag is also my heart. I love it. It's perfect. I like bigger bags to fit everything because I'm a hoarder and I bring everything with me. But it has the two top zippers. That's like, oh, you can't beat those zippers. And then two for front pocket up here. But yes, I love this bag. This bag is awesome. Just, it's perfect. Um, but, so that will be my Louis Vuitton collection. Thank you for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Give me suggestions. I know you've dropped. I've had people come. Like, it's... This video has been a hot mess, but I hope you like it and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.